everybody, how's it going? Chris here, and thank you for tuning in to Wicked Digger. Today I'm at a field I haven't been to in quite some time. Uh, last time I was here, I got a couple of good things, but the fines weren't tremendous. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe I'll have tremendous fines today. Uh, so we're going to go swing in the corn. We have corn and we have hay fields. Uh, I'm probably going to stick to the corn. And if nothing happens here uh, real good in, uh, you know, I don't know, in the first hour or so, I might go someplace else. We'll see. But hopefully we can stay hopefully we find good things that makes us want to stay so thank you so much and we're going to get out there save some history with the nocta legend i got the lg30 on uh, i almost brought the 24 uh, i probably should have to go in between the corn but the 30 does a pretty good job of getting in between stocks and stuff um, i'm going to turn my um, recovery speed up just a little bit today see what happens try to toy with the machine um, and see if in this heavy iron areas that are out here um, in this heavily hit area, I can pick up with some more targets. So we'll let you know, catch you at the first good signal. So we're out here swinging in the corn and it didn't take me very long, maybe three minutes of swinging in an area where I and a few other people have been here many times. Got a 34 VDI and I must have just missed this thing with the shovel. It's sitting right there, I don't know what it is, but a 34 VDI makes me think it's an Indian. But it could be a button. It's in a, well, maybe it is a button. I think that was the back of it where the shank was. This thing's thick and heavy, though. I'll have to clean that up real good to see if there's anything on it. I don't know what's going on here, but you can see that side definitely has a back mark and shank. So, yep, definitely a button, but this thing is like twisted and in rough condition. But. We'll take it. I don't believe there's anything on it. Cool. Awesome. Button right off the bat. It's very windy, so I'm going to refrain from, uh, you know, any live digs, really, unless I hear something that sounds spectacular, um, as well as, uh, you know, hearing the tones on the machine. It's very windy. But I just got to so apologize for that. I just got a 24, 25. Like it's in this clump. I don't know what that is. A little rivet, I guess. I thought it was a button. Yep, little rivet. All right. Well, we'll keep going. Rather it be a button or a coin. Some type of cool relic. Um, this is a relic either way. A little horse tack rivet or some sort. It's got wood or something in it as well. So, all right. We'll keep going. All right, so hopefully you can hear this. And a pretty decent, very solid 32 right here. And it doesn't seem to be very deep. We're gonna see what it is together. I have a feeling it's gonna be a button, but it could be anything. Still in the hole. What's that? Hopefully that's a rock. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's right, grab the pinpointer. Let's. Right, it seems like it's in this clump for sure. What do we got going on here? What's in here? Is that what that is? What is that? Melted lead. Junker, junker. Sure wasn't anything else, but. Very shallow. Yeah, it sounds like melted lead. All right, you're gonna dig those. You have to dig those, otherwise you're missing stuff. So let's keep swinging. Well, this one sounds pretty decent. It's showing a 43, 44 VDI. Right about there. Let's see if we got a copper or just a piece of junk. See anything yet? See a big round copper? What's that? What's that? I think I see it. Is that the, our target? What is this? Oh yeah, it's definitely our target. It's a little rivet. Another little rivet. Son of a gun. Well, there was some good, uh, good tone for the ear anyhow. A little tone excitement. Take it. So I came in the woods a little bit here. We came across this cellar hole. See the brick there. It's 
pretty sweet, huh? There's so much trash over here, though. That's the only downfall. And it's right by the road, so I'm sure people have seen it and hit this area many times over the years. But that's definitely a cellar hole, 100%. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try our luck and swing around here a little bit. It's a little thin back here, um, which by the layout of the cellar hole and being by the road, this is probably was their backyard here. Um, so I'm going to go through here. And see what we find. Uh, so far, I found a couple of uh, modern pennies in a clad dime. So um, we're gonna keep going. See what we can find. A little well here. You can see it's not really old, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But the land has got some age to it, and I'm sure that cell hole does have some age to it. So and, uh, try to save some history in here the trash well it didn't take very long to find something i decided instead of going to where the backyard area is to come to the front because i noticed all these flowers those are all uh um, lilies or something that's growing there um which you know if you ever come across something like that in the woods start looking for a cellar hole or there could have been one nearby but i just got a 52 signal i was like oh man this is clean and awesome sounds like a largey and it's not but i think i know what it is it's aluminum. I think it's a good luck token. Or something. It's definitely writing on there. I can't make it out yet, but. Wow, look at that. It's coming out pretty clean. Nothing on the back side. Let's see if you can wipe this front side a little bit more on the pants here. Yeah, it definitely says. Has some writing on it and. Something else in the middle there. Let's see, get a little more robin. Come on, get this thing pretty clean so I can see something. I can't quite make out exactly what it says, but that's cool. Hey, I'm happy with that. Great find. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to speak there. I was bent over because it's kind of very low lying coverage here. And uh, I, I picked up on that signal and hey, what the heck. We'll take that. Let's keep swinging. So it didn't take me very long, and that's the woods I was in over here. It didn't take me very long to want to get out of there and get back in the corn because there's so much trash. And I got a signal here that's super jumpy. VDI was all over the place, but I popped it out anyhow. It's a little button. We have another button. And I'm telling you, the iron that's in this area, maybe I'll shut off the headphones for a minute and uh, let you really hear it because it's crazy amounts of iron. That's a nice, just beautiful green color to this and uh, 1800s little flat button. I'm happy with that. We'll take buttons all day long. Hopefully find something else. But like I said, this was not easy uh, to find this particular button. Because the sound of the iron was masking this so badly, but I could hear just a little mid-tone chirp in it. I decided to investigate. And that's what you come out with. I mean, as much iron as in, is in this ground here, the legend knew that there was a non-ferrous target mixed in with all that iron. So that's a great thing. We'll keep going. How well you're going to be able to hear this because of the wind and everything else, but. Swinging a little bit. It's just full of iron, and little bobs and bits. And I'm swinging a little fast now. Normally I swing a lot slower than this, but just just to show you. Look at this brick all in the ground, pottery. And So swinging real slow helps. Brought the recovery speed up. I think I'm at seven right now in recovery speed. I'm just waiting for something to stick out in between this iron. And then when I get a good signal that I think, hey, that might be something good. So that turned to iron too. 
I'm gonna think that's iron. But if you lock onto something decent, just get it real tight, spin all around it, see if it sounds good all around, and dig it even in the iron because it could be good. That's where I just dug that button. Got another signal down here. It was real deep. I just popped it out. Got another button. And I'm telling you, this did not sound good at all. I could just get it like one way, and all I could hear was iron. I mean... This legend is amazing. This thing has a full shank on it too, which is even better. Love a button when it's got a shank, but I'll take a button of any sort. Pretty thick one too. Sweet little flat button. Woohoo! I'm out in like dead center of the field and I was just getting a 45 and I'm, I peeked at this real quick. I haven't touched it otherwise and I'm pretty sure I just got a huge bucket lister. Not positive, unless it's a piece of junk, but it might even be silver, so I better get the wicked water out. But it's thin. I looked at it real quick, and it's bent a little bit. But I think I see an eagle in the back, and I think this might be a cat bust half dime. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is. I don't even care that my pants are all wet. <gasps> Five cents, it says. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, it sure is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, cat bust half dime. This is the first silver coin that's been pulled out of this field. I can't even believe this right now. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. What the heck, man? Are you kidding me? Oh man, I've never found one of these before and I've always wanted to. This is so exciting right now. Oh, it's got that real dark silver to it. I could almost, almost make out a date on it. Oh, I can't believe I just got a cat bust half dime. Unreal. Oh my goodness. What a sweet bucket lister. I wish it wasn't bent. Probably got hit by a plow turning the field, but I don't really even care. I'm trying to get a date off of it. I can almost see it. Oh, I'll have to get a get a picture and get a close up and stuff, but 1885 maybe. Holy cow. Woo! This just made this day so worth it. Unreal. Oh, uh, I wish Tyler was here to share this moment with me. I'll have to send him a picture. He's going to be like, what, dude? Unreal. Cat bust, half dime. Whew, my third silver of the year. And what a good one. Wow. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, I just got that half dime right there. And I walked here. I got a signal right in the surface. It was a 21. And I looked down and I'm like, I don't know if that's a leaf or a button. But it is a button. A little tiny button. Broken with a broken shank. But hey, it's another button on the board. Right on the surface. And actually, it looks like somebody dug here before. And maybe didn't find it. I don't really know. But I found it now. Let's keep going. I was getting a real bouncy signal. It was like a 34 VDI. And look at that. Sitting right out of the, on the sidewall. Oh, and I hit it with the shovel. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful basket weave button. Oh, I'm glad I got the back and not the front of it with the shovel, but... Oh, beautiful basket weave button. Give a little hint rubbing of that. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh, that's a beautiful button. Heck yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, I love it. That'll clean up nice. I love that fancy design. That is cool. Sweet. I'm not sure what this next target is. I haven't really touched it much yet. But it sounded uh, almost like a button. I have no idea what that would have been to. It's a pretty cool looking relic though. 
That's interesting. I don't know if anyone has any idea. It almost looks like, I don't know, like it might have been like a, a hook for something. Like some type of knapsack or something that might have twisted and locked into place. I, I don't really know. If anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. Of course, I'll put up a picture here. Hmm. Interesting find. All right, we've got about 20 minutes left, so see what else happens. Target was coming up at 22.23. I was hoping for a tomback, but you got a piece of old spoon handle. All right, we'll take that. I haven't dug too many utensils in this place, so that's always a good sign, right? I hope we could bend it. Oh, no. That thing's... Oh, there we go. Uh, if I bend it anymore, I'll break it. But, yep, piece of spoon handle. An old one, too, for sure. All right, we'll take that relic and keep swinging. All right, since we don't have too much time, and I'm getting a 44, 42, 44... It's bouncing a little bit too, but uh, so it might not be very good, but let's see. Let's find out together. Try to squeeze in one more live dig before we get out of here. I know I haven't done too many today. It's been very windy, although the wind's dying down. Is that it? Is that what we're looking at? What is that? I think this is probably mangled up another piece of spoon or something. Or maybe it's just uh, copper flashing junk. Oh, well, eh, we tried. Eh, keep going. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I had a blast out there today. Got a few buttons and what an amazing bucket list of that little teeny silver coin is. Cat bust half dime. Seriously, I've been wanting one of those since the day I started doing metal detecting. Finally, I found one. I can't be more thrilled. I'm so excited to have it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. We'll get happy hunting. See you next time.